Hey, has anyone seen Izuku? Uh, oh, um, yeah, didn't you hear? What? He's being punished. W why? Well, because he went out into the Whispering Woods and, you know, caused all that trouble. So, yeah, shall we were decided to punish him? <laughs> what kind of punishment would she pretty much give her star pupil? I don't know, it's a pretty bad one from what I can tell. Especially the way he's yelling. What? Apparently, she put him in a coffin <coughs> and buried him. <laughs> but uh, doesn't she know that he's scared of enclosed spaces and the dark? I think that's precisely why she's punishing him like that. As you can hear. <laughs> In the far background, Izuku yelling, screaming of someone to let him out, but no one can do a damn thing. Shao Weaver is watching to make sure no one does anything, and will punish whoever tries. And they are wondering what in the world is that thing made of to make it so even Izuku can't break out of it. As time goes by, it's been a while. There are air holes, just not where Izuku can actually see any sunlight. So, <laughs> you can say he's fucked. He can breathe, but it feels like he can't. He can't move around, so he doesn't know where the air holes are. Only, ugh, for some reason, he's surviving a lot longer than he should. Is then Catra just walks up to Shao Weaver and says, What are you doing? This is his punishment for his actions. But th isn't this a little bit much considering this is around his main fears? Well, you should take this moment to overcome them as well as, you know, I don't know, not break the rules. <laughs> This is all my fault. Oh well. You can stay and watch or leave. It doesn't do me any difference. Wait. Okay, it's actually my fault. What? Yeah. It's my fault that he was in that position. Are you sure? Because... You didn't really want to speak up before. He only did that because he knew I would get in the most trouble. Yeah. I'm positive that would be the reason. I figured. Fine. You shall be punished as well. Oh, good. Now let him out. Wait. You said, wait, what? Oh, yes. He's still being punished. Maybe not for the crime before, but for lying to me. <laughs> Wait, no. I'll take on all the punishment. Just let, let him go. <sighs> Child. Listen. I get what you're trying to do. It's admirable and nice to do for your friends. But to those who don't follow the rules. To those who lie. There must be repercussions. So, as Ketra gets tackled, chained up, and I hate the fact that I'm going to have to do this. She's in a clear box, but she's underwater. She is in a tank, in a box. With water slowly pouring in. Her being terrified and scared. Everyone seeing this. Questioning the brutality of this. But not being brave enough to actually do anything. While Katra is screaming. Izuku is screaming too. But in the slight moments in which he can hear. He hears Katra's 
Christ. And his fear turns into worry. Him worried about Catra as he just, you could say, the energy he had before is back. And comes back with a vengeance as he's punching every conceivable angle he can, trying to break out. Everyone hearing the echoes of the metal, as well as the dirt starting to actually move and shake. With every punch, every strike he lands, everyone can feel it. Katra, she sees this too, and she's, wait, what, what's going on? Why is it, what was his strength before? As she's just too scared to really question it, her still saying, please let me out of here. That being more than enough for Izuku to knock his way straight out of his own grave and bust straight through the tank and save Katra. Which, the water was right about, right around her neck by that time. So, yay! Though she is happy to be okay, she's even more worried about Izuku, as well as asking what you... How'd you do that? I heard you scream and asking for help. Uh, but you could have done that before. No, I was terrified. Then what caused you? I just didn't want you to get hurt. I mean, I know you're scared of water and enclosed spaces, uh, but so you uh, you broke out just to save me. Of course, what are friends for? Uh, right, friends. <sighs> Um, but if you don't mind me asking, how did you end up like that? I told you I'll leave the truth. Uh, why? Because you were facing your fear, or at least suffering through it. I didn't want you to, so... <sighs> So, you're suffering through your fears because you want to save me. Yeah, don't think too much into it. Your, your crying was just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Thanks. But that doesn't explain why I was still in there. Well, though yes, you were being punished for what you to the blame for when it came to me uh, you lied and about what happened so that's why you were still buried uh, oh. so what you're saying is yeah my sacrifice was pretty much pointless and the fact that you destroyed your little prison as well as saved me from mine Chances are, as Shadow Weaver's shadow actually towers over them, we're in trouble, aren't we? I think so. Well done, Izuku. It seems as though you have successfully conquered your fear. Or, at the very least for the moment, you have. Interesting how things turn out, isn't it? Shall Weaver. What was the point in all this? <sighs> to make you stronger. And as a lesson to anyone else who wants to break the rules and lie to us. Now, as far as your punishment goes, you have 
served your time. But Catra, on the other hand, since she didn't conquer her fear and break out of her prison of her own, you could say, strength, she will continue this again. What? Yes, you see, since she didn't mm, conquer this by herself and had to be saved by you, I can't just allow her to get out of punishment. Well then, bury me again. Excuse me. You heard me, bury me again. Remember, I lied to you. And following orders is very important, but trust, hmm, that's not as easy to get back now, is it? You see, what are you doing? Shh. Are you honestly saying you would rather be buried alive again? Yes. Hmm. Well, how about this? If you're truly sure about going through that kind of torture again, how about we make it more interesting? Huh, wait, what? This time we won't give you the luxury of air holes. Uh, what? You must have noticed with all your flailing around you didn't get tired. Uh, as he looks at Katra, she's yeah, they were supplying you with air the whole time or else you would have passed out. Uh, well, do you still want to go through with this little display? Yes. Yeah. I'll do it. Honestly. You are very foolish to do this for a comrade, but... Oh, no. If you're that certain. I am. Hmm. <laughs> foolish boy. But that's admirable. All right. Set up everything. As Izuku and Katra had to suffer through this painful experience, which is, yeah, it is not a pleasant ordeal for them to go through. Since Izuku can't save her this time, and Izuku doesn't have the luxury of having a steady supply of air, they pass out within a matter of minutes. He's a good faster considering he has to try his best to control his breathing despite being in the pure darkness buried within a you could say very tight coffin this time making sure he doesn't have nearly as much wiggle room as before. As soon as he's dug up and catch us fished out yeah, they're in the infirmary, but shower we were watching is... Did you learn your lessons? Suku wants to tell her off, but he can't risk himself or Katra getting in any more trouble. So, yes I did. What about you, Katra? Have you learned yours lesson? I have. Good. Now, as for you, don't break the rules again. And as for you, young Izuku, you better not lie to me again. Or else we'll have to bury you deeper. <laughs> Alright, nice talk. <sighs> What's wrong? As yeah, Katra looks at Izuku and he is shaking, terrified. 
What, what, what is it? So dark. So, so very dark. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't move. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, wow, that really does get to you. It makes me feel powerless. I don't, I really don't like it. Well, um, at least you did try to save me before, but at the end it got you in more trouble. Yeah, I've noticed that. From time to time, you do get me in more trouble. Well, uh, I think I really just don't want you to get in much trouble, so at the very least I want to try to get you out of trouble. But why? Because it's you, and I care about you. Whatever, but seriously, if if you don't start thinking about yourself, you're going to get yourself killed. No, I won't. <laughs> what makes you so sure? Because I have you, don't I? Uh, uh what? N nothing. It it was just weird hearing you say that. Really? Heck, I care about you. You care about me, don't you? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I do. <laughs> well, there you go. Of course I would do whatever I can to help a friend. <clears throat> Something wrong? No, just that word irks me. What? Nothing. But how about we make a deal? I try not to get you in too much trouble if you try to teach me how to stay out of it. <laughs> I doubt that'll help. Uh, what's that supposed to... Yeah, because I, I can't see you staying out of trouble anytime soon. So what, you're just going to keep saving me despite what pain in my cause? Hmm. And what if I don't mind? As long as I can make sure you're alright. What the hell, are you supposed to be a hero or something? Well. Hmm. Is there... Wrong? Is it wrong to want to be someone's hero? Yeah, it's just weird. Well, <laughs> they just call me weird. <clears throat> What's your deal? Uh, I don't know. At the very least, I just... <sighs> be honest, I'm kind of bored. And I find you interesting. Though, yes, you can be a pain in the ass. <coughs> Hurtful. True. I, um, I can't imagine being without you. Really. Really. So what if the Horde turned against us? Or more, uh, more likely me? You say you throw away everything? <laughs> you kidding? I knew it. They'll have to take on both of us at once just to get a chance. Uh, what? Yeah, you're probably right. I'm the strongest out of the both of us, so at the very least, they have to get through me before they can get to you. What the? What was it? You don't just say stuff like that so easily. Stuff like what? <clears throat> Nothing, idiot. Um. Okay. So. What now?
sleep. Good night. But, but wait, I thought you wanted to talk some more. No. Good night.